hundred years ago, I couldn't even ride a bus. You ought to keep away from this. Mr. Tanner mightn't take too kindly to Mr. Ed Gage's boy being around. In Hobart, Indiana, Evergreen Memorial Park, to uh, redo a grave that I've done a while back. Uh, this guy was a great actor. Uh, he was in a lot of the old black and white war movies. He always played the black soldier that like was dealing with racial uh, situations and stuff like that. He was always typecast. Uh, really good actor. He's from Muncie, Indiana. He died in San Diego, but I believe he had family here. That's why he's here in Indiana with us. James J. Edwards? That's him. 1970? Yep. That's him. 1918, yep. I'm going to come out real quick. That way Cool, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming, man. Thanks, man. Bro. Thanks, man. I appreciate you guys. I should be out here. I'm like, still looking. I'm like, I, had, I, I didn't know if that was the right one. I'm like, well, I'll go back and check real quick. Yeah, <laughs> cool. But, cool, man. You guys have a good one, man. Cool. As you guys seen just now, at the beginning of this video, the sad truth of being buried in a cemetery. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but when you don't have family in the area anymore or family living, that's what happens. You know, uh, it's just mother nature. And like some people, they'll come out, they take care of their loved one's graves. But for the most part, a lot of these people, they don't have living relatives. Luckily, I knew the guy, the guy working here. I tattooed him before and uh, he watches the channels. There was a couple that we thought it was, and uh, they dug it up, and it wasn't him. And believe it or not, I started recording and telling the story, and then I realized it wasn't him. So I had to find them while they were driving back through. Really cool guys, man. Big shout out to those guys. A nice lady in the office, too. Uh, they were driving through, and they're like, and I waved them down, and they helped me find the actual one. And it's just right here. It was like a few steps away. They cleaned it up real good, as you guys see, and uh, that's awesome. And a lot of these, you know, they get overgrown. It's just mother nature. It's not the guy's fault at work here. It's mother nature, and it's just the way it is, you know. Rain, and, and the roots grow, and grass spreads. This was totally covered. But found for me. There it is. It's a really nice stone. I like the marble. His last movie he was in was with George C. Scott called Patton. He played his uh, his longtime like assistant or whatever in the army. But yeah, this is it. He was in a lot of movies and a lot of TV shows during the sixties. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna name a couple off and see if you guys they ring a bell to you. He played Luther Banks in the movie The Setup, in 1949. He played Private Peter Moss in 1949 in the movie Home of the Brave. 1949, another movie, Manhandled. 
He played uh, Henry uh, Henry Bennett Butler. 1951, The Steel Helmet. Played Captain Thompson. 1951, Bright Victory as Joe Morgan. 1952, Member of the Wedding as Honey Camden Brown. 1953, The Joe Lewis Story. He played Jack Chappie Blackburn. The Kane Mutiny. He played Whitaker, which he was uncredited for. And then the uh, African Manhunt in 1955 as a native guide. Seven Angry Men in 1955 as Ned Green. The Phoenix City Story as Zach Ward in 1955. 1956, The Killing as a track parking attendant. 1957, he was in the movie The Battle Hymn as Lieutenant Maples. And then Men in, Men in War in 1957, he played Sergeant Killian. Like I said, he played a lot of uh, uh, like black soldier roles in these movies. Uh, he died January 4th, 1970 in San Diego. He was working on a film script in his wife's family house and uh, started complaining of chest pains. He was taken to the uh, Sharp Memorial Hospital where he died. He was only 42 years old. He was way too young to die. Then, like I said, his last role was in the movie Patton with George C. Scott. He played Sergeant Major William George Meeks, which was like like Patton's uh, personal assistant or whatever, secretary, like uh, valet. But yeah, man, there it is. James Edwards, uh, rest in peace. I'm gonna go home and watch some of your movies. You guys should check out some of his movies. Maybe you'll like them, maybe you've seen them. Drop a comment and let me know uh, if you've ever seen any of his movies. But there it is, Midwest Flesh. I'm gonna get out of here now. It's my day off. I thought I'd come out and do a couple, redo a couple of these grades over by, you know, close to home. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. See you next time. Don't make it right to kill him! Thou shalt not kill the Lord's dead! <laughs>